Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon and today I'm in my mini kitchen which is only one twelfth of the normal scale. It is tiny and you guys requested that I try and make miniature sugar bowls. If you're new around here to fill you in I invented balloon drip sugar bowls back in 2016 and I'll link you to that video in the end but that was using normal sized balloons and I'm not sure if it's even possible to make them miniature sized but let's find out together. Weigh out your sugar and tip it into a saucepan then take that to the sink and add just enough water to make it look like wet sand. Whoops that's a little bit much that'll be okay. <laughs> Light your stove, close it up and add your pan to the heat. Leave that unstirred for the sugar to dissolve and while that is cooking put some baking paper onto your bench. Then put a bowl down to hold your balloon the right way up and this is filled with water. If you remember from the original video that I did the water helps to disperse the heat. With it being this small though there's not much water in it so it might not cool it enough to stop the balloon from popping and I don't really want to have sugar all over my mini kitchen but you guys asked for it so I'm going to try. Once the sugar is boiled for a while it will start to turn golden so quickly at that point you need to add in your colouring. I'm just using a tiny bit of pink. Wow the heat is going up that tiny spoon very fast. Then we have to pour that over the balloons. Here we go the moment of truth are they going to pop? They're looking good. I don't think they're going to. I think they're going to hold. We definitely needed the baking paper underneath that to protect the counter though and now we just have to leave them to cool. To get your pan clean just fill it with water and then you can just leave that to one side and the sugar will dissolve in about an hour or you could spend ages trying to scrub it off but this way it just magically cleans itself. These are so tiny they have cooled pretty quickly. Turn the tap to the side, take your balloon over to the sink and make a tiny cut with scissors. Try and get all that water down the sink, preferably not all over your kitchen and you'll see the balloon is just going down and as it gets to the end there just give it a bit of a pull and pull the balloon out and it worked. We have a mini balloon bowl. Do the same with the other one. I don't have any miniature scissors but even if I did I don't think I could get my fingers to actually work with them because they'd be too small. You can store your balloon bowls in an airtight container until you're ready to use them. I like to fill mine with a few scoops of ice cream. And a generous drizzle of chocolate ganache. You can make this just by mixing equal parts by weight of hot cream and some milk chocolate and just stir it until it's smooth. Add some freshly chopped fruit, raspberries and strawberries are always nice together and then a sprinkling of chopped nuts. So yes you can make miniature sugar bowls. I think these would look fabulous at a party. You'd need to make lots of them of course and fill them with something that doesn't melt. Maybe a little piping of chantilly cream and a fresh raspberry on top of each one. That would be lovely. Or something chocolatey. You use your imagination. Click here to go to my channel, here for the original sugar bowls recipe video, here for more mini baking and here for the latest video. Make it a great week and I'll see you on Friday. Friday.